All right, so I'm home from work now and um, I didn't really get a video done, did I? I knew I said that I was gonna get a video done yesterday, like a whole day, a whole vlog. When I'm working, it's super, super hard to get it done. It's like you, you've got this 10 hour day where you have to work the whole time, obviously. And then you have an hour break where I could go out and film and stuff, but I'm just so knackered that I wanna sit down and eat and have a break from work. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna sit down and show you my top 10 album covers. I stole this idea from Mike Seatown and I've put his channel down there in the description box. I like stealing other people's ideas because it gets me the fame. First record I've got for you is by Kerouac. I think this record cover really shows exactly what this band are gonna be doing with their music. It's really cold, it's really dark, it's in black and white, and it just gives like a really grim image. Kerouac are absolutely incredible, and this album cover is super lovely. It's in black and white, it's all like over a frozen lake and trees growing out. It's absolutely beautiful, and it really does represent the music. I think this band were on a mission to do something a little bit different that everyone else was doing at the time. For me, they did sound a little bit like The Chariot, um, they did have some botch elements in there, a few discords, but they had a baritone guitar, which is really nicely down-tuned, and they sounded awesome. So this is my first one, number one, Kerouac. Sick record that, mate, go and check it out. It's a booming one. Next record I'm gonna show you is SQRM, and this is called Rodeo. This is on Youth Attack Records, and you've probably seen me show this before on my channel. This mate, he's got some little face paints on there, nice little afro, and a sick little jacket on there that's multicolored. It really doesn't go with the music. This is some of the most dark and horrible music that you'll hear. It's just tons of feedback, really badly produced, but on purpose, you know, like some really dirty power violence bass chords in there, and just horrible lyrics, and the front cover is just this clown matey. On the inside as well, it's got this uh, clown matey riding a horse just looking really just fed up. That was SQRM, Butte One. Really into that band. Next one is by, are you ready for me to try and uh, pronounce this band's name? Basically, I can't pronounce this name to save my life. So I'm gonna read it in a really over the top Southern accent to make it funny. It's called Una Bestia Incontrobly Observant com el mon es distruxiexing. Mate, I am absolutely knackered. I think I'm going mental. Absolutely incredible. It does have elements of DB, and I think I actually showed this on my channel again. I think I showed this before. It's just an absolutely incredible album. They got really weird elements of sort of like this weird hop D beat sound going on with the drums, but loads of echo on the vocals, and it's just relentless. Tons of feedback, and just a really interesting band. The reason I like this front cover is because it's painted. It's just really strange. When I picked it up, I wanted to buy it instantly just for the cover, and I think I've spoken about that before in the past on this channel, where records talk to you when you pick them out of the record rack. You're going through and you're looking at every single one is exactly the same, you know, like hip hop looks the same, power violence looks the same, grindcore, metal, and all that. And this one just spoke to me instantly and I got it out and I saw that it was on La Vida Essensmus and I wanted it instantly because I know that record label is incredible and I know that it's going to be good. Cheers. Like that, like that. Next record I've got up for you guys is Throats and this record is called Throats. The reason I picked this record is because it really does represent what the band play. Now it's just got someone kneeling down in front of tons of amps and this band is one of the loudest bands I've ever seen. They were just so relentless. They just started their set and just didn't talk in between. They just played the whole set all the way through and it was so loud that I remember going to see them one time, sitting in the car afterwards, and all of us were just shouting at each other because we were all completely deaf from the show. Absolutely incredible band and I think this cover just represents them 100%. Check that record out, mate, because that is a banger. I really wanted to do it in the style of Mike Seatown then but that's probably taking it too far. Stealing his idea and then doing it like him. Shall I do it? Next record! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> Sorry, Mike. So the next record I've got for you guys is by Balam Akab, and this is called Wanda Wanda. Silly name. But I really do love this record. It's one of those records that I picked up years and years and years ago, and I think I just picked up from a bargain bin or something. The reason I love this front cover again is because it represents the music 100%. It's just got some sort of rock formation and it's completely in pitch black, but you can see this sort of blue eeriness popping through with sunlight and it's really, really nice. I think this record is sort of like spacey house, witch house, I don't know, it's just got a lot of vibe in there with these really pitched vocals, really, really high and really low. It's just a moody record and it really does set the tone. If you're not wanting to listen to something super heavy but not something that's gonna make you fall asleep, then you should definitely check out Balama Cab because it's really nice atmosphere. And there's a motorbike going past my house that's really loud and really starting to do my nutting, mate. 
stonking record, stonking banging and amazing. Next record. <laughs> Mike is gonna kill me, any. How can I be more like Mike? Do I get more views if I'm like Mike Seatown? What do you say? This the front cover. This the back cover. Just not as good as him, am I? One day. One day. Next record I want to show you guys is Iron Monkey. Our problem. The re well. It's obvious why I picked this, because this is one of the best album covers of all time. <laughs> ah, fuck. Next record I've got to show to you is Iron Monkey. It's called Our Problem, and it's one of the best records ever made. The reason it's the best record ever made is because it's the best album cover that anyone has ever drawn. The reason it's the best album cover that anyone has ever drawn is because it's awesome, and it's got a monkey on it, and balloons, and some people and it's got stuff on there, and the logo is drawn by hand. I like it. I would give it 10 fire emojis out of 10. <laughs> it's up there, mate. It's up there on the list with the best album covers and album. I can't believe they got back together. Next record I want to show you is Breed In Me The Darkness by Suka Texan, and the reason I'm showing this record is because this is one of my favourite bands and I really do love it. I, I talk about it constantly, they actually just came out of a new record recently. The reason I love this cover so much is, again, it represents the music, but not only that, they, you can see that they've taken so much time and so much thought into the colours and how deep the blacks are and all of these weird little, I still don't know what it's called, but when you put this glaze I say glaze because that's the only word that I can think of. It's sort of like this see-through transparent writing. So when you shine it in the light, you can see it. And it's absolutely beautiful and it really does work because you can see just the artwork, but when you get closer, you can see all the text. I really love Suica Texan and I hope to see him live one day. I really, really hope to see him live one day. And my battery's gonna run out any second. So I'm gonna show the last two records really, really quick. Next record I wanna show you is by A Day in Black and White, and this is called My Heroes Have Always Killed Cowboys. This is a Screamo record, and I don't I don't really talk about Screamo that much on this channel. And I know I have said in the past that Screamo is not really my thing, but I'm trying to delve into it at the moment. So if you have any Screamo bands that I should listen to, comment down there or send me a playlist or something, because I listen to just like five Screamo bands that I really love, and I've never really gone outside that comfort zone. This is one of those Screamo bands. It's called A Day in Black and White, My Heroes Have Always Killed Cowboys. The reason I've got this in my top 10 covers list is because it really does represent Screamo and I didn't want to just throw in like tons of metal or tons of noise or whatever. I don't know, it's just like one of those things that you can't really describe. You look at a Screamo record and you know it's a Screamo record. You look at a metal record, it's probably got skulls in there, dice and like flames and snake. So the last record I want to show you is by Man is the Bastard, AKA Charge Remains. This probably looks to you like the most boring cover in the world, but for me, it just encompasses everything that is power violence. I think anyone that is into grindcore power violence or dark music, or well, specifically power violence, I think you will know this. It's a very iconic look and they came up with this. It's been ripped off countless numbers of times by bands like Weekend Nachos, Knuckle Scraper, tons of other things and loads of memes have been made out of it as well. I wanted to make one with uh, the matey from Game of Thrones. What's his name? Snow. Snow, what's his name? Something Snow, and I wanted to have his face on his side and like, Snow is the bastard. It's a good joke. The reason I want to show this record is, like I said, it just really encompasses everything that is power violence, and it really does show what power violence is in a simple way. A lot of power violence bands tend to use really dirty, horrible, gritty images, like dead people and stuff like that, but Charred Remains, or Man is the Bastard, they use this really simplistic text, really bold, and they just put the skulls either side of their name, and that's it. And I really do love that design. And Sorry about that, my battery ran out. I'm gonna get on with this before my battery runs out, and then I'm gonna go buy a new one because it's my dog ate my last one. But yeah, Charred Remains, really sick band, really, really love them, and I'm so, so happy that I've got this record. I actually found this at a flea market. It was just laying in the back there. That's why it's a little bit messed up and a little bit bent on the corners. I really do love Child Remains, Man is a Bastard, and Bastard Noise. Absolutely incredible band, and will always be up there with one of my favorite power violence bands. But this list is about the covers, and that cover's pretty sick, innit? Cheers for watching this video, mate. If you did like it, go down there. There's a little button that looks like that. Not like that, it looks like that. Press that one, don't press that one. We well, can press that one if you didn't like it, but press that one, and then you wanna go over to the other button. It's sort of like that and it says subscribe in it, click on that one, and then what you wanna do is copy the link from the top and send it to your mate and say, hey, you should watch this, and then they should also press that one and press that one that's red. I'm gonna go have a cup of tea now, nice one. Um, see you in a bit, cheers.